Kid Palmer, editor of uh, Cycle News Magazine. Um, yeah, we just finished, or I just finished riding the uh, new Kawasaki Z500, and uh, I came away pr very impressed with the motorcycle. I mean, when you consider the uh, the price point of the of the bike, it's 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 very very affordable. And sometimes you might think that oh, they they might be skimping somewhere, but uh, on this bike, you don't notice any skimping at all. Um, I was very impressed with uh, just the, the build of the bike, the components, and how everything worked. There was a lot to be impressed about, but I think what stood out probably in my mind the most was the, uh, was the motor. It's a 500, but it's really a 450. It's got good power. I mean, it's got really good power for, uh, for the size and the displacement. Uh, I found out, I found that it had a lot of torque. It was easy to get off the line. It was it it tracked really well and it pulled out of the corners really well. Uh, very easy to ride. I like the torque because there were sometimes you know, I would come up to an intersection and forget to downshift and I take off. I'm in third gear and I'm like, ah, okay, this is fine. It'll still work, and it pulls away in third gear. It revs well. I mean, you can really really rev that thing. I thought there was going to be a lot of times I was going to hit the rev li rev limiter or something, but never did. It, and it just kept pulling and pulling. So I was really, really impressed with, with the motor. Uh, the suspension is good, ex again, for the price. I mean, you're not gonna get the, the full-on, fully adjustable high-end suspension, but man, it works really good out of the, uh, out of the crate. Uh, I felt like uh, you can go into turns and if you're hitting some bumps, it doesn't really upset the chassis all that much. You can, uh, you can you could still just keep your momentum up and, and uh, so I thought the suspension was really good. It fit my weight pretty well, about 165 pounds and I had no problems with the, with the suspension at all. I thought it was really, really good. The brakes work well, again, price point, you don't, you're not getting high-end brakes but these work. Way, they're very sufficient for, for the, this motorcycle. The bike shifted well, really, really well. When you're screaming the bike like that and you just tap in the, the, the gears, the shift lever with it, just right the next gear, no problem at all. And same with downshifting, I thought the downshifting was really good and the slipper clutch worked really, really well. Comfortable, I'm kind of tall for that bike. I'm about 6'1", but I didn't really ever feel really cramped on it. Uh, we rode pretty much all day, put a, f a fair amount of miles on it, and I felt pretty fresh at the end of the day. The seat's comfortable, which I really liked. Trying to find something negative, I really couldn't. I was riding back and I'm, I'm trying to think, wow, what, what was something I really don't like about the bike? Nothing really stood out at all. Um, I think maybe in the morning when we took off and got on the freeway, felt a little buzzy to me at that time, but then I never thought about it again the rest of the day. And then I consciously thought about it coming back when we were on the freeway and I'm like, it wasn't a factor at all. So overall, I mean, it's, I think that for the price point and what you get, I think you really do get a really good looking motorcycle uh, that really performs well at a really good price. I like having the two versions, the SE and, and then the standard one. Um, to me, the big difference between the two, the really, I, I would really lean toward just the, the standard one, but it's hard to overlook the, uh, you know, the screen and the uh, LED blinkers, which I, I really like that a lot. So I'd be bouncing back and forth, but I wouldn't mind, I would, even the standard, I'd be fine with that because the, the price difference isn't performance wise. So I would seriously consider the standard one, but like I said, it's really hard to overlook that really nice screen and the, and the LED blinkers. So I, I think it makes a fantastic um, commuting bike. I think that's something you could ride every day. You might not want to go really long on the freeways, but you can get through the traffic really, really well. And then the weekends, oh man, it's a really good back roads bike. So I wouldn't have any problems riding on, on that on the back roads. And I think an experienced rider will enjoy the, the bike really as much as, as, as a, maybe an entry level rider will. So I think it covers uh, that whole spectrum pretty well from an entry level rider to an uh, experienced rider. So it's, I think it's a really, really good bike, especially with that price point.